And gold is in the box. Hmm. Now showing in a cinema near you. Pat, Pat and Koga. Pat, Pat, Pat and Koga. Happy Pat, Pat and Koga. <laughs> it's gonna be in your side. It's gonna be in your head all day long now. Pat, Pat and Koga. You need your phone. I do need my phone. Thank you very much. Oh, disconnection. Disconnection. Just close the door. Close the door. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Thanks. I'm sorry about that. I thought you meant close the door, as in like you were just narrating your movements. <laughs> Gotta go pick Mama Stalde up because she's going to Belfast Fair City where the birds are so pretty. That's not the Belfast song. What's the Belfast song? You know, um. Tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave, the girls alone, they pull their hair, they walk to home, but it's alright till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is bella, bella, she is busy, one, two, three, and it's right, two, three, and it's do you know that song? Let's go. Where to, love? Um, the station, please. No hey. problem. Make it soppy. No problem. Um, uh, chop, chop there. Chop, chop. Quite the weather today, we're having. It's lovely. King and country. Everywhere. Big bed. supposed to be nice. Hello. See you later. So, last night, well, it was actually early this morning, but last night, I had something really weird happen to me. Um... And I said this on Twitter and Facebook, just like to ask you guys your opinions, and I think it is what it is. So basically, um, I woke up in the night to go pee, which is normal. Then I went back to sleep, and then for no reason at all, I woke up at 6 a.m. And I was like, why am I awake? Like, this is weird. <laughs> so, um, like, nothing woke me, nothing. I, was, I just woke up. And um, so what I did was, because I felt kind of uncomfortable, so I moved from my back onto my left hand side, which is kind of usually like where I sleep now, just because of the baby and everything. And as soon as I moved, I literally felt like, a, it was like a spider run up and down my tummy. And I freaked out and I was like, oh my God, there's a spider in the bed. So I started like, you know, rubbing, like slapping it away. And then I looked down and I was like, there's nothing, like there was nothing there. And then I, I, I like jumped up and I was looking in the sheets and everything. I was like, where's the spider? Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I think that's the baby moving because it was like nothing I'd ever felt in my life. That's what it felt like is a spider or an insect run like up and down just like, you know, just once. And I was like, oh my God, that's what the baby is supposed to feel like. It's supposed to be like a flutter. Everyone describes it as a butterfly, but then it's so early. I was like, it's only 12 and a half weeks. Like, how is it? How am I feeling this? So maybe most people can't actually feel that one. Yeah, so, just so like, I small. I put it on Facebook and Twitter and um, the majority of people were like I was like how is that possible? And they were like no, it was the baby. It's because you're smaller and you can feel more. And I was like, "Oh my god, I, I was right." Because I was 99.9% .9 like after it happened I was like, "Oh my god, that was the baby." And then I was like trying to make it do it again. I was like just laying do it there, again. Like, Come on, you know, but didn't do it again. Should have tickled back or something. I know, and then... Tickle me, mom! I think, well, my mom thinks that the reason why I didn't feel a butterfly feeling, and that I felt more of like an insect feeling, is because it's smaller, like it is like 12 weeks. Usually when people feel it, it's like 14, 15 like weeks. this size, isn't it? It's five centimeters, so... Whoa, our baby's tiny. No. Just found the most randomest car park in the middle of town, over there. <laughs> I have no idea, do you pay for it or what you do, but... We're not going to be here for a few minutes, so I was like, I'm just going to dump and run. Dump and run. Do you like my technique? Dump yeah. and run. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. So, <laughs> finally, right? I wasn't even going to, um, I wasn't sure whether or not I should actually talk about this to you guys. Because I didn't want people, like, you know, making a big hoo-ha about it. But when I, myself and Anna tried to get married, well, we did get married 1st September. Let's just put that out. We are married 1st of September. Everything's done, right? That's our wedding anniversary. That's everything. But we had a problem in Ireland due with the licensing and legality because of uh, Anna being from born in the United States and then the United States not issue. Remember we went to the embassy and there were so much problems and crap about it. Well, we finally got this, which is the United States apostille stamp. And then we just went in and had a meeting with the, um, the Irish government, or the Irish government. And they issued us the final uh, release licensing agreements to legally bind our love for each other based on the Irish government so it's gonna happen on um, Wednesday 
which is this Wednesday, which is cool because she was saying to me, you can do it on the Monday or you can, uh, you can go ahead and do it on Tuesday. And I was like, oh no, do it as soon as possible. And then she said, um, well, if you want, uh, Wednesday is a leap year. So Wednesday's only ever, ever happen every four years. So she's like, wouldn't that be like such a fun um, time to do it? And I was like, yeah, let's totally do it. So we're having, um, we're doing like a, a legal thing with like um, like a judge or something, I don't know. It's like a court thing to legally uh, sign it and lock it up on Wednesday. But uh, oh my God, you have no idea how, because we're really worried that we're gonna have the baby and with all this crap like wasn't gonna go through. But it's all done now. It's a fit well on Wednesday it'll be done, but oh boy, it's so cool. Finally, legally done. <laughs> legal legal beavers. <laughs> hey guys, this is um this is St. Finbar's Cathedral by the way, which is like awesomely amazing, isn't it? How cool is that? <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I just wanted to tell you guys. Another thing I kind of want to do is um, I'm going to have a look at some cars here. I've been kind of looking online at some stuff because I've been thinking like as soon as we're having this baby coming, I'd rather have something, I don't know, stronger and better. And the Alpha's fun and all, but they're not like the most strongest cars. So I want something, I want something German. German. <laughs> you know you're safe when you're in a German car. Like I like, you see, the thing I was looking at, I was reading about this online and people were saying like get a four-door car, you know, because you're going to want the back door for when the baby comes, yeah, you know, rather than having like a coupe and then having to drag a baby seat in and out all the time, which does make sense, I suppose. You know, I think the color of this car is like so vibrant. <laughs> I like the I like the inside though; they look really good. You know, I like the coupe. There's a lovely treat or coupe M series, but uh, well, we get to the baby school. We get to the exactly. crash pretty quickly. No, no, it's looking at the CLKs. No, no, that's like, that's too big. Look how nice this is. It's really high up, like. What? <laughs> it's huge, like. I've never, I've never, I've never owned a Reynolds. Do you guys ever do uh, pelvic floor exercises? Because um, Anna was complaining, like, we're well, not complaining, but she was like, oh, they're really hard and all that stuff. So I was like, what's it like, you know? And I don't have a pelvic floor. Well, maybe I do, but I don't know. So <laughs> I was like, basically, right, this is what you do, guys, right? You know when you're trying to have a pee, when you're having a pee, and then you have to stop having a pee, which is like the worst experience in the world ever. Guys know what I'm talking about. It's the hardest thing to do is while peeing to stop peeing. So basically, try and, like, do that feeling, like, one, two, do it ten times, and seriously, because I was like, oh my god, it's really sore and stuff, but it's actually no, it's hard. it's not sore, it's just, I, I thought, like, well, that's not real. Yeah, you just like, clench, clench it. And then I did it, because she was like, you're supposed to do it ten times over, ten times a day. And I yeah. was like, okay, well, that's not hard, it's not even, like, a workout. But it actually feels like a work. after you're done, like, obviously, you're, you're, it's not, like, going for a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. you're done, you're like, oh god, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> no, no, thanks. It's like, because you're working at a muscle. And I just so did weird. 10 of them and I was like, oh, yeah, right, sure it's not. And I was just like, oh my god, it's very eight, strange. nine, yeah, it's really uncomfortable. ten. Ah, I didn't like it. I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> not nice. I think this is the place I was looking for. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's the car there. That's the one I'm talking oh, yeah. about. Oh my god. That worked out quite well. Okay. Five mile bridge. Thank you very much. Mm. I like the inside. Leathery. Did you fit a baby seat back there, though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But yes, it is nice. Ooh, look! That means it goes fast. <laughs> we actually, there's a couple of automatic cars in here. It'll make Anna happy. <laughs> Might encourage me. Might encourage you. Oh, see, see, the, see the audio there? Oh, he's standing at one. <laughs> I like that color. I don't know, I just like blue cars. What's your favorite color of a car? What if we got a car that was the size of a baby? This one here. <laughs> Could you fit a baby in there? In that little space back there? You couldn't even put a person in there. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't, but it's sexy. <laughs> sexy trumps practicality, right? Ooh, oh, that's four. <laughs> Let her go quicker. At right the inside. So this here, this is an automatic car. You like that idea? Mm 
if you ever learn to drive, to actually have an automatic car. I've never owned an automatic car well, before. Well, it's like what you're saying. I'm gonna learn automatic. Before the baby comes, mm -hmm. just in case. And then that means that I can actually drive the car we own. And you guys own um, a Chrysler. I've never actually um, even seen one of these. But they're, um, look, they're really spacey. Little thing sets up, aren't they? PT Cruiser. An American car. An American car. America. <laughs> I do, I would like a German car though. I have a thing. Oh look, there's another German car over here. Ah, uh, guten Tag, wie geht's? Wir kommen jetzt dann besser zum BMW und Mercedes und Odei. So I didn't. I was only driving around. I was like, come on, let's let's physically look at the cars. And I think I found the car that I love. Do you love it? It's a lovely car. It is a lovely car, gentlemen. I think Pankoga would love it. Pankoga would sit in the back in the lap of Lux and be all like, what's up? What's up? So my plan, guys, is that um, never to go into debt for a car. You know, only buy cars. I'm right. I think I talked about this before um, last year when we bought the Alpha because I was like, you know, be able to be able to buy the car cash out, cash out front instead of like buying, like getting loans and stuff like that. You know, and I know you can like there's so many crap cars out there and stuff. But if you look around, like you know, you'll eventually get it. And you know, and, and find a dealer and make some make him a deal, like and don't don't take his crap and be just like, I don't I don't need you. You know, I'm like look. I'll give you this car, and he was like, the one I really wanted, they wouldn't, um, he, it would see the NCT was just out on it, which in Ireland, um, an NCT is, I don't even, I don't know if they, what, I don't think they have that in America. It's kind of like this government state body that ensures that all cars are, like, really good, and they all work. So, like, it's not like you can go into a dealer, and you can buy a car that's dodgy, because if the car is dodgy, it won't have an NCT certificate on it, and if it doesn't have NCT certificate, car ain't worth crap, yo. So um, I negotiated that he would go and put it. I said, like, if you put the car through the NCT, I'll probably take it, and, you know? And I didn't think he was going to, and then he was just like, hold on a second, yeah. and he went off. And then he came back and he was like, okay, he'll take my alpha off me and he'll put that through the thing. And I was like, going, oh crap, awesome. And now I'm, now I'm dreaming about the car. I'm like, oh God. So now we're figuring, we need to do a blog sale. <laughs> Who wants to buy my shoes? <laughs> Daddy needs a new car. <laughs> Daddy needs a new car. Make check payable to Pankoka's College Fund at. <laughs> we need to get a parking space. Let's go out for lunch to celebrate our decision to buy a car, possibly next month. Let me reverse. I'm reversing. I'm reversing. I have my reverse lights on. Oh my goodness, people! International sign of if someone has their reverse lights on, please don't drive behind them. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Came back to BBs because they give us crisps. <laughs> I got a sweet chili wrap this time. You got the tuna one again? Give me some coffees. Give me coffee. I'm gonna get a coffee with my wrap. <laughs> wrap. Hey, cop. You a Wrap. What? No. Thought lost. Had an awesome thought, but it lost. The world will never know about an awesome thought. This is what Albie does when we go to Oma's house and, I, and Oma's not here. Look. It's just so sad. It's not the same. Where's Oma? Oh, it's dumb. That's so mean. <laughs> it's just not the same. But Pankoga's here! Hey Pankoga! <laughs> oh. Oma's in Belfast. Oh. <gasps> Who's that? Who's, Who's that? that now? <laughs> you gonna let her in? Do you wanna get it or what? You get it. I'll wait here. I'll let my pregnant wife go get it. <laughs> what they're going to? Hey! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Now showing. It's Tim Daisy. Hey, Mambo. Kimbo Italiano. Kim, Kimbo. Kimbo Italiano. I decided to treat myself to a nice espresso. 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 <laughs> Oops. A small bit of spillage. Spillogian and expressogium. You say? I do say. I do say, dear boy. There's a spectrolium in the hemolium. Need to just. Peter patter, patter, patter. Oh, can you see me in reflection? Hi! <laughs> Peter patter, Peter patter on the bitter floor. Peter patter, Peter patter, Mama, Peter patter. <laughs>
Why is he making an espresso if he's so hyper? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I don't make these a lot. Partly because I'm too lazy. And partly because they're like, you keep them as like a special treat. You know? Then if you have them all the time, it's not like a special treat. It's just like an everyday treat. Bring over to the next departmental area. You stay there for a moment. Gotta make sure it's locked tight. Otherwise, it can all go wrong very quickly. Nice. And the Bunston burner. <laughs> That's not a Bunston burner. That's not a Bunston burner. Look, we got a card for my mom. My mom retired. My mom retired today from her job. <sighs> she's getting old, putting her up in the pasture. <laughs> well, yeah, she's uh, retired today. So we get her a card, a retirement card. Plus, we're gonna put um, we're gonna put the sonogram into it and send it to her. <whistles> Say congratulations, you're a grandmother. Congratulations, you're saying goodbye now. You don't have to work anymore. You can sit back and take care of my baby. That's the point. That's the job of the grandmother, isn't it? Isn't it? You? Do you hear me, Mama Skylight? <laughs> Come along now. Come along now. Hmm. What's your like nighttime thing? You know? Do you like having a nice, tasty cup of tea at night, or a glass of water, or do you ever treat yourself to a nice? After a nice meal, because Emma, Emma treated it as well, and it was very garlicky, and I have a nice after garlic taste, and, I'm, 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 and I don't want to like ruin that with like a desserty sweet thing, so I was like, I'm going to have myself a tasty coffee. That's what I'm going to have. Leave some suggestive comments in the description below. Below, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, and thanks for watching another episode of the Zaccone Jolie. And don't forget to like the video and favorite the video because that will be awesome! <laughs>